हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल फार्मेसी मेड इजी टुडे लेट्स सी सम मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चंस फॉर वेरियस कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जामिनेशंस एंड मेनली फॉर डीएचए एमओएच प्रोमेट्रिक एक्सिट दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज दिस क्वेश्चंस व्हिच आई पिक मेनली फ्रॉम previously asked questions and also from different important files like all in one M mcq and 300 question file then 400 question file etc that is especially important in case of dha hard etc because these are previously asked questions go through this video and learn with me so here we start mcq for pharmacist competitive exams part 3 and i will provide the links for part 1 and part 2 now let's start first question anti cancer drug derived from vinga alkaloid is option a cyclophosphamide option b fluorouracil option c doxorubicin and option d cisplatin and option e none of the above anti cancer drug that is derived from vinga alkaloid when we are seeing this option these all drugs are used as anti cancer drugs but these are not derived from vinga so the anti cancer drug which derived from vinga alkaloid or vinga rosea that include vin cristin and vin blastin so here the answer is option e none of the above and the correct answer that is the anti cancer drugs which are derived from vinga alkaloid include vin cristin and vin blastin second question misalastin is a option a antibiotic option b anticoagulant option c antiplatelet and option d antihistaminic celastin is a non sedating antihistamine which is a second generation antihistamine that mainly block h1 receptor okay so so here the correct answer is option d misalastin is a antihistaminic okay so please remember misalastin that is a non sedating second generation antihistamine that having a h1 receptor blocking action third question which of these have intrinsic sympathomimetic effect option a labetalol option b timolol option c sotalol option d pindalol and option e propranolol intrinsic sympathomimetic effect that is mainly a peculiar feature of beta blocker okay so this intrinsic sympathomimetic activity means along with their beta receptor blocking action they have a slight or little sympathomimetic activity that is adrenergic agonist activity or that's mainly sympathomimetic activity so along with this beta blocking action they have a sympathomimetic activity okay that is what intrinsic sympathomimetic effect so this is a peculiar or main effect of the beta blocker pindalol this is a very important question because this is asked in a lot of times in different exams so here the correct answer is option d pindalol pindalol is the beta blocker that is having intrinsic sympathomimetic activity now the fourth question which of the following is not a cardio specific beta blocker option a atenolol option b acetabutalol option c sotalol option d labetalol cardio selective beta blocker means that have action that's on heart okay that's what cardio selective beta blocker so here the correct answer is labetalol and all other drugs like atenolol acetabutalol sotalol these are cardio selective beta blocker and labetalol that is a beta blocker with additional alpha blocking activity 
so this atenolol acetabutalol sotalol all these are specifically cardio selective beta blockers that is mainly act on beta 1 receptors and this labetalol that is a beta blocker that having an additional alpha blocking activity next question one of the following should be avoided in pregnancy option a vitamin a option b calcium option c paracetamol and option d misoprostol we know calcium and vitamin uh, that are mainly given which can be given in pregnancy without any contraindication and also paracetamol that is the very commonly used analgesic that's used in pregnancy so here the correct answer that means the drug that is contraindicated in pregnancy that include misoprostol because that cause uterine contraction and can be leads to abortion okay so the drug which is avoided in pregnancy the correct answer is option d misoprostol that's a prostaglandin analog which cause abortion question which one of the following is not contraindicated in pregnancy option a methyl dopa option b enalapril option c lisinopril and option d captopril the anti hypertensive drug which is safer to be used in pregnancy that is only methyl dopa all other anti hypertensive drugs whether they are ac inhibitors or angiotensin receptor blockers or whatever it is it is contraindicated in pregnancy and the only one safer drug which can be used is anti hypertensive in pregnancy is methyl dopa so here which one of the following is not contraindicated in pregnancy correct answer is option a methyl dopa seventh question anti coagulant effect of warfarin is decreased by option a aspirin option b rifampicin option c vitamin k and option d verapamil so here the correct answer is option c vitamin k and vitamin k that can be used as antidote for warfarin poisoning okay so here the correct answer is option c vitamin k and vitamin k is used as antidote for warfarin poisoning and as an additional point just remember for heparin poisoning the antidote is protamin sulfate and i already provided one video which shows different antidotes that's used in pharmacology so please refer that i will provide its link in description box so here the anticoagulant effect of warfarin is decreased by vitamin k it question on dancetron hcl is used for option a msis option b angina pectoris option c prophylaxis of migraine option d hypertension on dancetron that's a drug used for msis that means for the treatment of vomiting on dancetron that is a selective 5ht3 that is selective serotonin receptor antagonist so that is mainly used for the treatment of vomiting and it is mainly useful in case for chemotherapy induced vomiting so this on dancetron that is the drug of choice in case of chemotherapy or radiation induced vomiting so on dancetron hcl that is the drug for the treatment of msis ninth question all of these are anti parkinsonism drugs except option a amandadin option b bromocriptin option c levodopa and option d primidon here amandadin bromocriptin and levodopa these three drugs are mainly anti parkinsonian drug and one exception that is primidon which is a anti epileptic drug so here the correct answer is option d primidon this is an anti epileptic drug 10 question sumatriptan is used for treatment of migraine and headache option b angina pectoris option c control of epilepsy and option d hypertension sumatriptan that is a drug mainly used for the treatment of migraine headache okay so here the correct answer is option a treatment of migraine and headache 11th question the major action of sodium chromoglycate is 
A. Mast cell stabilization Option B. Bronco dilator Option C. Prostaglandin modifier Option D. Leukotriene modifier And none of the above This sodium chromoglycolate That is a mast cell stabilizer That is mainly used in case of asthma condition Okay, the correct answer is option A. Mast cell stabilizer So this sodium chromoglycolate or chromolin sodium that is a muscle stabilizer that is mainly used in case of treatment of asthma as well as in cases of allergic reaction 12th question adenosine is used for option a ventricular arrhythmia option b atrial bradycardia option c supraventricular tachycardia and option d supraventricular bradycardia and this adenosine that is a drug of choice in case of supraventricular tachycardia i already posted a video on drug of choices in pharmacology i will provide its link in description box please go through that video because it's very important when you are preparing for different exams like DHA because they can ask one or two questions from that portions so please go through that topic okay so here the correct answer is option C supraventricular tachycardia and adenosine that is a drug of choice for supraventricular tachycardia 13th question all of the following are anti-inflammatory analgesics except Option A, ibuprofen, option B, aspirin, and option C, naproxen, and option D, severidol. Here the correct answer is option D, severidol, and severidol, that is the brand name for morphine, and morphine, that is a opioid, or opioid analgesic, so that doesn't have that much anti-inflammatory action, and mainly this anti-inflammatory action that is for NSAIDs so here the correct answer is option D severidol that is morphine 14th question if packaged are written for expiry November 2006 that means that can be used until option A 1st November option B 31st November option C 30th November and option D 31st December when a package is written like expiry is written like November 2006 that means that can be used till the end of that month and we know November contain 30 days so here in this case this November 2006 if the expiry is written as November 2006 then that can be used up to or until November 30 okay so up to the last date of that month if it is December then it can be used up to 31st December and here the question is if it is written its expiry is written as November 2006 that means it can be used until 30th November so here the correct answer is option C 30th November 15th question which of the following has aldosterone antagonist effect option A amyloride option B furosemide option C spironolactone and option D hydrochlorothiazide this aldosterone antagonist that are mainly potassium sparing diuretics so here the correct answer is option C spironolactone that is a aldosterone antagonist and that's mainly a potassium sparing diuretic 16 question doxorubicin that has side effect, side effect of option a cardiac toxicity option b nephrotoxicity option c postural hypotension and option d arrhythmia the major side effect of doxorubicin and donorubicin both are anti-cancer drugs and their major side effect is cardiac toxicity so here the correct answer is option a cardiac toxicity 17th question cephalosporin act as inhibitors of cell membrane function option b inhibitors of nucleic acid synthesis option c inhibitors of protein synthesis option d inhibitors of cell wall synthesis and option e inhibitors of metabolism the antibiotic classifications mainly the penicillin and 
cephalosporin that are the agents which are mainly act by inhibiting cell wall synthesis so here cephalosporin that is act as inhibitors of cell wall synthesis and the correct answer is option d cephalosporin act as inhibitor of cell wall synthesis 18th question overdose of panadol can be treated with option a naloxone option b edta option c vitamin k and option d n acetyl cysteine panadol that is the trade name or brand name for paracetamol and the drug which is used as antidote for paracetamol poisoning is n acetyl cysteine so here the correct answer is option d n acetyl cysteine that is used for treating the overdose of paracetamol or panadol and we know naloxone that is a antidote for opioid poisoning and edta that is a common chelating agent and vitamin k that is antidote for warfarin and here the correct answer n acetyl cysteine that is mainly used for paracetamol poisoning and panadol that is the brand name for paracetamol and i already done a video on different side effects of drugs that is the main side effects that include main side effects so i will provide its link in description box 19th question all of the following consider calcium channel blocker except option a felodipine option b diltiazem option c nifedipine and option d lamivudin nifedipine diltiazem felodipine these all are calcium channel blockers and lamivudin that's a nucleoside reverse nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitor that is mainly used for the treatment of hiv so here the correct answer is option d lamivudin so lamivudin that is not a calcium channel blocker it's mainly used for the treatment of hiv that's a reverse transcriptase inhibitor and the last question cotrimoxazole contain trimethoprim plus sulfamethoxazole trimethoprim plus sulfoxazole trimethoprim plus sulfadiazine trimethoprim plus sulfacetamide cotrimoxazole that mainly contain trimethoprim plus sulfamethoxazole in the ratio of 1 is to 5 Okay, so here the correct answer is option A, scotrimoxazole that my mainly contain trimethoprim and sulfamethoxazole. And please remember the ratio in the ratio of one is to five. Okay, so this is all about today's presentation, and I hope this was an easy session for you. If you have any doubt, please comment it below, and. Thank you for watching my channel and if you like my channel you can like share and subscribe thank you